Ten. It's horrible. It's, it's so hard to believe I could go in one day thinking I'm getting a facial and come out with a disability. A middle Tennessee woman permanently scarred after receiving a facial treatment fights back. Good evening, everybody. I'm John Dwyer. Thanks for joining us tonight. Medical spas are popping up all over Middle Tennessee. You see them in strip malls, on billboards, and even in email coupon deals. But one Rutherford County woman knows firsthand just how dangerous these med spas can possibly be. News 2's Tracy Tolentino shows us how she's working to make sure no one else is a victim. This is Daphne Carroll before receiving a laser facial in 2007 from a Murfreesboro medical spa. This is what Carol looked like immediately following the procedure performed by an esthetician. But he sent me home despite the fact I'd had breathing problems and I was severely burned. My eyes weren't working. More than five years later, Carol is in constant pain, hardly leaves her home, and is left with permanent nerve damage to her face and eyes. Now, Carol is calling for stricter laws in Tennessee because she says many of these spas are not under the direct supervision of a doctor. They I guess contract with the physicians. He's basically lending their, his license to the facility. And then they're able to put his name on the door. And it's very deceptive to the public because they walk in and see this doctor's name or they'll tell you, like they told me, we have a doctor. Some states will only allow physicians to use lasers. Last year, a bill for tougher regulation on these types of treatments, sponsored by Senator Jim Tracy and Representative Mike Sparks, failed. But during this year's upcoming legislative session, Carol is back fighting for change, again working with Senator Tracy. Senator Tracy has been wonderful. I really think that he'll continue to push for this and get something done. To make sure no one else experiences her same pain. I just really hope it gets taken care of this year so no one else is hurt. In Laverne, Tracy Tolentino, Nashville's News 2. The first step would be for the State Department of Health Med Spa Task Force to meet this Thursday. That happens, and Carol hopes the task force will come up with guidelines to help draft new legislation. And another note, the medical spa where Carol received her treatment has since closed down.